Welcome, this is my first video on how to switch operating systems on a new Dell Precision desktop. And this would basically help anybody out using Eufy, a 2010 Windows Pro. I'm going to show you how this is done because this was very difficult for me to understand. But I finally, through a lot of testing, figured it out. So right now, I had to press F2 to get into this BIOS. And I'm in boot sequence, and I want you to see what the boot manager or boot sequence shows. There's two hard drives. The bottom one is an M.2. The top one is an Intel SSD. Okay. And I'm showing you the boot sequence screen right now. It's in Eufy. And I'm not touching the add boot option or any of this. And I'm going to change these right now. I'm going to change the boot order from this one to that one. And a few more things I want to show you over here in the BIOS. A few more of my settings. On the advanced boot options, enable legacy option must be clicked on. And enable attempt must be clicked off. And system configuration. You can see right now the set operation must be in AHCI, not RAID. And then here are the drives. You can see there's shows four. There's the M2. There's the SATA one, SATA zero, SATA four. In actuality, there's not. There's only three hard drives on this computer. There is no SATA four. But I'll let you look at the fields. Okay. Now another thing I discovered here is in the secure boot, and you look at it, and I. And I have it disabled, secure boot enable, or dis I have it disabled. But in actuality, sometimes it's actually not. And upon reboot, you have to click, or I'm sorry, you have to press F8 and change this secure boot must be off in order for this to work. Now right now I'm, gonna, I'm going to change those drives, like I said. I have to go back up here to boot sequence. And I'm going to change the bottom one, this one right here, up into position one. There. That right there, that one is an M.2 drive. This is an Intel SSD. It's a three, uh, two and a half inch SATA drive. <coughs> and I'm going to click apply. Hit OK. And exit. And I want you to watch. I'm running a dual 27 inch monitors right here and let's see what happens. Okay, now this desktop screen is my M.2 SSD drive, which has Hyper-V on it. Now, right now, it's looking for me. There we go. And there she is. And I'm going to show you the drives. I'll right-click. I'm going to go into Disk Management. And I'm going to open it up a little bit bigger. Okay, here you can see disk 1, which is my main operating system, which is Windows 10 Pro. Disk 1, which is another hard drive, is just a backup hard drive. Disk 2, this one, is my Hyper-V. This is a, I'm sorry, this right here operating system is an M.2 disk drive, which has Hyper-V in it. And I've got Windows Repair Tools. I've got an image set up in it. So there are the three hard drives right now that you can see. I'm going to click it off. And I'm going to go into File Explorer. This PC, we're going to look. You can see the drives right here. This is the main, the main operating system. Sorry. 
C is the main operating system. This is a M.2 disk. This is the backup. And this is the second hard drive. Hope that didn't confuse you. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do a restart again. And we're going to click F2 right here on the keyboard, F2. And we're going to get back into the BIOS again. There we go. We're back into the BIOS. Okay. Now I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to go to boot sequence. And as you can see, the boot sequence has changed. The boot manager now appeared. And this SSD drive, which is the second drive, is showing. This is the strange part. is because it's not showing the, S the M.2 now. In order to get it back, you have to restore these settings. Restore to BIOS default. Click OK. OK. We'll take a second. There it goes. Okay, now we're going to click exit. And don't I don't understand why it does that yet. Why the boot manager before you saw there were two hard drives. And then after I changed it, the boot manager came on. Hope I explained that right. That's usually normal when it reboots, it'll click off and reboot again because of the system changes that I made. Let's see if we can get it to show that other drive now. Hard to do screen capture when you're in the BIOS, you really can't do it. I want to see what operating system is now booting up. It has to be the original, my main one, and not the M.2. Yep, now it's looking for me. Yeah, it booted back up to the original drive. So we're going to do it again. This is kind of a pain in the ass. We're going to go to we're going to go to restart again. We're going to hit F2. You don't have to hit it right now, but in a minute. Ooh, what is this? Windows color calibration. That's weird. Restart anyways. As soon as the black screen, now you start hitting F2. Uh, hopefully, you should see both of those drives now, and the boot manager option will disappear. See, that's exactly what happened. I don't understand yet, hopefully I will soon, why you have to restore the settings to see both of those original hard drives. Now again, this drive right here is an M.2. This one is an SSD Intel. It's just a two and a half inch uh, hard drive. So I'm going to switch it, the boot order again. We're going to go the M.2 to position one. I'm going to click apply, okay, and exit. Now we should boot right back to the M.2 SSD drive, which is an, it's 80 millimeters long, and I have it secured on the motherboard. I hope this video helps you, because I spent a lot, quite a while, maybe over a week, investigating why this keeps doing it. Why it's so hard to switch and to boot into Eufy with different operating systems. Yep, it worked. See, now I'm back into me. This desktop screen is my M.2. And how I know is, on this side, I have the, the taskbar over here. And then there's my Hyper-V. I'll show you. There's my Hyper-V manager. And we opened up Hyper-V. And we're going to... That's already running. That's interesting. We're going to connect... And get the Hyper-V running. There, there it goes. 
So this Hyper-V is on a separate hard drive, M.2, separate operating system. I hope this helps. If you have any comments, please feel free to fill it out. Thank you.